What's up guys, you know, we're back again and today I'm going to be going over using the orb strategy, the 15 minute orb strategy with Fibonacci retracements or Fib levels. Um, and the way that I really like to use it is for, you know, the above levels for price targets, you know, knowing where to scale. And I found that it's honestly pretty well respected. Um, so just for an example here, we're going to use AAL, um, you know, ticker AAL here. Cool. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here on TrendSpider, I think their fibs are a little bit weird, um, personally, but grab the fib. I'm on the five minute chart here, so what I'm gonna do is use the low, oops. So what I'm gonna do here is use the low of these first 15 minutes. In this case, I'm on the five, so it's these first three candles here. And we have a low here at 12.06 drag it to the high here at 1229 and in this case since we broke to the upside i'm going to use extensions um, in this case you know we reverse pretty fast so what you can do here is hit the properties in this case hit reverse because on trend spider it doesn't allow um, for both sides of the fibs which is a bit annoying whatever so off open right we see the break to the upside we have a nice reversal here and we can use these love these fib retracements here, the 236, uh, 382, and 618 as potential scaling spots. That 618 is going to be the biggest level and the most important level, but it's not always hit. Um, so this is a great spot to scale. In this case, you know, we see, say we take um, th this play here on a reversal. We have two upper wicks, um, intraday double top here. We close below, we add confirmation. So our first target, if we're adding up here, is going to be that or blow here at 12.06. Second target, that uh, 236, 382, and then the big target here at the 618. The 618, you know, the biggest level as stated before. We also see this is the first sign, tweezer bottom here. So that's where we're gonna fully scale out and it's a nice price target. Once we start to reverse, perfectly cool let's go to properties i'm gonna re take that reverse it all right cool in this case again that first target once we have broken our orb high we get a retest nice entry spot awesome we are above um, both emas we have confirmation we have some separation here between our vwap and our emas very cool to see so on our entry here on this retest first target is going to be that that um, high of the day here at the 382 second target is going to be that 618 and then the 236 up here as we notice you know we get pretty pretty good luck here hitting the 618 pretty easy nice scaling spot we hit that 236 very easy another potential scaling spot and then we can hold runners right we're never below um, this 9 ema so we really have no place to scale out and as you see we hold this 9 EMA the entire way up until this candle here so our runners would be a nice spot to scale out stop them out here and just adjust the stop loss up another example of this to the upside would be uber um, using uber here we have this low at 20.37 we have our high right here at 20.98 um, as you can see, I have taken out these middle fib levels and the reason being, you know, I'm not really all that focused on trading between my orb range. The orb range is what I'm focused on, high to low um, and below or above is where I'm really using the fibs to give me a better, you know, place to scale out looking for price targets. Um, and I found that it's honestly pretty well respected and takes away a little bit of the overthinking. Here on Uber's case, you know, we don't really get a retest um, early, so probably not a great spot. We don't get anything here. Then we start getting retests. We get this hold of both the 9 EMA, the 21 EMA, we are above VWAP, and we start to separate. Very good entry spot here. We see, you know, we never close below the 9 EMA, so we really have no reason to close this trade. We can get our 20% scale in here. We hit this 618 pretty easy, and we're still holding, um, this EMA. So we can use the EMA plus these FIB levels to give us uh, more confirmation and more conviction in our plays. In this case, you know, very easy move once we get over that 618 previous high of the day up to the 236. 
perfect place to scale right here. We finally start to see some sellers coming in. Next candle can't really hold. We start to break to the downside and then our runners get stopped out here on this candle. This can also work to the downside. As you see here, I already have AMD plotted. Um, in this case, we go to the downside, right? Break out, break below. Don't really get a great retest. So I don't like the entry spot here as well, but we can see how well these levels are respected. And we can see that, you know, the 618 becomes both support and resistance. And where we hit the bottom wick is off that 236 level. So very, very good spot to look ahead and be prepared to scale out into momentum. Baba, another great one to look at. Very, very big gap up and provide very good opportunities here on the orb. So we get our first close below and then we get two candles that cannot reclaim that orb low at 107.87. Um, we have confirmation with our 21, 20 EMA above the nine EMA. Nice entry spot here and we can just let it work. As we see here, you know, the, the 618, the 236 and the 382 don't really provide any crazy support at this point until we start to get a little bit here we start to slow down a little bit and we can see, you know, perfect. Next target, this 236 down here at 101.84. And as we can see, this is the very big level here on BABA. In this case, you know, we're taking this trade here, five minute close back below on a retest. We have confirmation of our trend here using our EMAs and we can scale out along the way, 20% scale into momentum, hit this 618 as that first big price target and then stop our runners at down here with the close above the nine EMA on this candle may even start a little bit earlier once we see these buyers starting to come in here um, and selling momentum has gone down we can also use the slope of this nine EMA to determine the overall momentum of one side in this case the slope starts to slow down a little bit therefore telling us that slower momentum seller momentum has slowed down Fire momentum has picked up. So a good place, you know, to stop out those runners um, and can also use that 9 EMA as a very, very good place to stop the runners. I like to use the fibs more as, you know, the, those price targets that we talked about. Um, I'm not the greatest fib trader in the world, I'd say, and it's not like a permanent piece, but I have found that using the fib levels is very, very beneficial um, for helping with the overthinking, right? For helping giving a decent price target and they work based off mathematics it's you know it's been a thing for for centuries um, I don't fully understand you know my brain can't really wrap around exactly how someone came up with this but it tends to work um, and we'll use an example here of spy in this case spy broke to the upside early we'll use the We'll go low to this high right here. Broke the upside early. So early on, you know, we're thinking, okay, I'm gonna use the FIB levels to the upside, these extensions. It's not always the case. Properties take this reverse off real quick. And now we can use these levels on the downside as nice scaling points. In this case, we have a tweezer top, which provides a decent entry spot here um, for puts on a failed call trigger. Then we get more confirmation on this candle close here. We close below our EMAs. So if I'm scaling in or taking a position here, I'm gonna take smaller size. I can scale in on these two candles once we have retested and confirmed that these EMAs and VWAP have become resistance. First target gonna be that or blow here at 365.43. And then I'm targeting these levels down here, right? One the 236, 382 provide a little bit, but that big level again is the 618 level. That is the biggest level. Um, and I like to use that as my first big spot, but it's still important to adjust our stop loss along the way and you know scale along the way, scale into momentum, using EMAs as a confirmation for trend, add conviction, and the big thing that the fibs do is help to add conviction as well as scaling spots. That's how I really like to use them.